I look at these old games, it's because I'm remembering... Ah! Oh Christ, it scared the crap out of me. Hello and welcome to the first in my retro series of videos. Um, the first being uh, Viet Cong. Um, I'm going to basically just talk about this a little bit and then show you a little bit of gameplay. Uh, this game was developed back in 2003. It was quite well received at the time, scoring around the mid to mid 70 to early 80 percent kind of mark. Um, the the game was ported over to um, Xbox and PS2, I believe, um, but it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't really well received over there. Uh, the game being set in the Vietnam conflict back in 1967 was was pretty good when it came out in my opinion. Um, you know a lot of the other games that were out at the time um, you know didn't really cover this conflict or there weren't that many that covered this conflict should I say um, and then this came along and it was. Uh, I found it a really good game, and the campaign I really enjoyed. Now, when you compare this to a lot of the other games that were out at the time, you know, you just didn't have the level of um, immersion um, that you did with with this, in my opinion. Um, this was the first game that really came out with really luscious. Um, scenery. Now, when I say luscious, you're going to have to take it with a pinch of salt because this game was developed back in 2002-2003. So, our idea of luscious these days, well, we just have to look at, you know, the first Far Cry, even when that came out, and that just basically um, proverbially peed all over it. <laughs> but when this came out, it was something else. Um, now the multiplayer was a bit kind of hit and miss. I mean, I used to have, uh, I used to actually hold LAN parties with some friends of mine, and this used to be one of the staple games that we would play. Um, but when you hit online, there'd be some suspect activity that would go on because the accuracy of these weapons are not that great, but come up against some people and they would be headshotting you instantly all the time so you know you had to kind of uh, question what was going on a bit really but the game uh, you know it features a tutorial um, and you also got uh, the ability to hit a single mission from the campaign I believe um, and then there's the quick fire option which I'm going to show you today now in order to get this running you would probably need a, a whole bunch of patches which I've grabbed s incrementally from um, a website which I'll have displayed up on screen and I'll put the uh, the URL in the details as well so um, I would suggest getting all of the patches starting from the earliest number up to the to, to the latest number which I think is like 1.6 um, in some uh, situations, you're going to need something called VC Starter. Um, I've got version 1.5.1, as you can see over here in the top right. Um, because on newer versions of Windows, the menu screens flicker and, in, in fact, altogether disappear on uh, on certain occasions. So VC Starter prevents that from happening. Right, let's jump in uh, and we can see this luscious environment which we're going to have to take with a pinch of salt because, like I said, it's, uh, you know, it's not that great by today's standards. Um, so the Colt is the only pistol I can take. I could choose the Tommy, the Remington 870 shotgun or the M1 carbine. I'm going to go with the carbine because I get on better with making slightly more accurate shots. <clears throat> Load times are not a problem these days for old games like this. <laughs> Back in the day, it would take a take a bit longer to load. I've uh, got a little bit of screen tear going on here at the moment, um, but that's not a problem. So, as you can see, the graphics aren't that great. But when this came out, this was brilliant. 
Let me just take a pot shot at this guy. That's got him done. There's a guy down here. Did I get him in one? No, no I didn't. guy down here somewhere. There's a guy over there somewhere. There should be a guy down here. I can't I can't see him. What I'm gonna do is prone, because you've got prone option in here. And I'm just going to take this guy out over here. That's him dealt with. Let's try a grenade here. There he is. Did that get him? Let's run across over here. And I'm going to chuck another grenade over there. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you compare this to the original Half-Life, you know, it's not a bad-looking uh, bad environment. And it was the first game, really, to give us that kind of jungle look to a game. Terrible, terrible misses there. Right, let's get up on here. No, I can't see anyone over there. There's normally a guy up there somewhere, so I'm going to have to trek back this way. Has he got anything nice? Uh, PPS 41, no. Uh, Bit inaccurate for my taste. Now, that was the guy I got with the grenade earlier. Aha. Yeah, here's a guy. Where are you going? See, they'll shoot through the bushes, but it's, it's quite difficult to... Die! <laughs> but you've got to keep your wits about you in this game, because they, they just come out of nowhere. <laughs> they are the Viet Cong, and, and it offered that kind of, you know, that understanding that it was a difficult difficult conflict and uh, you know without that inherent local knowledge of the environment um, you know it made it really difficult for the soldiers to work in that environment he's got a revolver don't really want that Right, let's get prone. There's normally another guy over this way. You can hear him shooting, but I can't see him. Now, uh, m if memory serves me correctly, there is a sniper rifle you can use in this game. Um, that was my preferred weapon. Uh, sometimes I would need a rifle, though. Assault rifle. There we go. Look, That's there. where are you going? He's trying to. He's trying to sneak up. There he is. Got him. Now there must be someone else about.
You have to be careful of the um, of the drops as well. You can lose quite a lot of HP if you make too big a drop. I suspect he's gone through the caves, this last guy. There's a bit of scenery glitch there, look. <laughs> right, there's a way in here somewhere. There we go. So, yeah, the caves and stuff are not, are not ideal uh, with today's standard of graphics. But you know, in my opinion, when I want to look at these old games, it's because I'm remembering... Ah! Oh, Christ! It scared the crap out of me! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> yeah, it's because I'm remembering the game, uh, you know, the campaign, the story, um, you know, and I really enjoyed that. And, you know, the mechanics of the game are are quite good even though the the engine's not as up to date these days and the and some of the mechanics the some of the physics and stuff are a little bit ropey but you know at the end of the day this was the early days of first person shooters so you know it's to be forgiven a little bit um but i think you know looking back at it people will enjoy the uh, the campaign if you uh, if you want to if you've got an interest in in having a look at these old games Anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more videos from myself. Um, and I'm going to be doing more in the retro series, so keep an eye out. Thanks for watching and bye bye for now. Sweet bye here, undetected. Ah!